Hey guys, it's Abby from Autumn of Pelinor, and today I'm going to be reviewing The End of the Day by Claire North. This is a book in the fantasy genre, but it's very much heavily steeped in realism and just realistic ways of the world. And we follow Charlie, he's a young adult, I'd guess somewhere between 20 and 25, who has recently finished university and doesn't know what he's doing with his life. So he ends up scouring around for jobs and comes across the job as the harbinger of death. Now this is, if you don't know, the harbinger of death will go before death and pre-warn people of his imminent arrival. It's obviously a very unique and demanding job, but Charlie decides to take it and we follow him along this journey. He ends up visiting countries all around the world, which I really appreciated. This isn't just uh, UK or US centric, he goes worldwide and goes and visits a lot of different people. I obviously don't want to spoil this for you, so I won't say kind of where he goes or who he says goodbye to because that would spoil quite a lot, but I will say that these people aren't always good. You read the concept of this book and you think that it's going to be someone going before death to thank people who have had a large and positive impact on communities, and it isn't always the case, which I found incredibly interesting. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's people who have done brilliant things for the world and their community around them, and sometimes it's people who have done awful things. And that really emphasises Claire North's decision here to not just talk about the death of people, but the death of ideas and concepts and ways of life. How to say this without spoiling the fuck out of it? Because <laughs> all of the ideas, all of the ones I can think of would spoil this book. Um, but if we just go with like obvious things, um, the death of someone very racist, the death of someone very misogynistic, uh, those would be examples that I'm keeping as vague as possible um, of the deaths that would be attended, but also like um, conventions. <laughs> this is really difficult to do without spoiling the actual content. If like knowing what it is wouldn't change the book, but I don't want to do it just to keep this completely spoiler free. So the death of events that perpetrate these racist, misogynistic, um, offensive ideas is another thing that Charlie goes to witness and he doesn't always know what he's going there for. A lot of the times Charlie has no clue what he's going there for. He doesn't know if he's going to be going to see the death of a person or the death of an idea and the first time it's the death of an idea he doesn't know that that's a possibility until after the event occurs. So it's really interesting because we also don't know, we see from Charlie's point of view, it's written in the third person I think. It's written in the third person, but it is from Charlie's point of view, so we don't know where death is sending him and why, so we find out along with Charlie whether it's going to be the death of a person, whether that person's going to be good or bad, or whether it's the death of a way of life or an ideology. This really makes each individual case interesting because it plays on what we already learn from the past cases of Charlie visiting people, but also builds upon it and builds upon the idea of the concept of death. And it also plays a little bit with different cultures concepts because as I said it does go around the world to various different countries and so it plays with the concept of death in those countries. There is also obviously people pleading with Charlie to not die and death gets very annoyed at that because death is actually a character in here. We do not see death very often and they are, they are portrayed as being different to everyone. So I'm pretty sure Charlie sees death as a woman, but there are other people who see death as a man um, or just as a, a creature or a non-binary, I guess, entity, uh, a non-gendered entity. And so we see death as a woman because that's how Charlie sees death. But they will appear in the story sometimes, they're very protective of Charlie, which I quite enjoyed, um, but not in a predictable manner. Very much in an ethereal manner, Claire North manages to make death stay a weird, unattainable concept that we can't quite comprehend. So that was really, really interesting and really well done. Overall, all of the different stories in this, all of the different deaths and the different instances and the different warnings, because not everybody dies, um, sometimes he will go to a location and give the warning, which he doesn't know he's giving, um, but, but he will provide this warning and it will actually end up with the individual 
not dying. But all of the different circumstances, they touch on a lot of different issues around the world that are prevalent today. This is set in modern times, it's a contemporary fantasy. Um, and it will touch on issues that we have around the world and bring them to light. So that's really interesting as well, especially because we don't tend to see that a lot from white Western authors. So that was really good. But it just makes you think about humanity. It makes you think about life, think about how this world functions. It also made me think about my own life and how I'm living it and I'm pretty happy with how my values and stuff are but it definitely made me think more upon it and think of how I've changed over my life and how I have had deaths of concepts and ideas of people that I used to be, everyone does, and it really does lead to quite a bit of introspection, for me at least. Overall it just really stuck with me. Right until like a week or two afterwards I was still daily thinking about this book and I really do want to reread it at some point because it was just really impactful. It definitely packs a big punch and it's really ambitious and I think that Claire North has managed to do this really really well. I, if you couldn't tell, gave this book five stars and it just solidified for me my love of Claire North. The only other work I'd read by her before this was The First Fifteen Lives of Harry August which Im involves time travel and I really really enjoyed that. I gave that five stars as well and once I read that I had her down as a favourite author despite having only read one book and I'm glad to see that when I carry on with her work this then still stays as a favourite author and both of them have been five star reads. I really look forward to reading a lot more from this author. So let me know down in the comments if you've read this book or if you've even heard of Claire North and what you think of my review and if you think you're going to read it. I really am interested to know if other people have read this because it's definitely a book that sparks conversation. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!